So in this video, I'm going to make a stand that will support these three candles, which are battery powered candles with a remote. It will support these candles inside of this decorative, I don't know what you call this thing. It's a decorative thing my wife found. Um, and she wants me to put the candles inside of there and we can put it up on top of the cabinet behind me. So that's what the video is gonna be all about. to start fabbing up the stand for the candles and basically I went down and picked up this uh, piece of 6 by 18 16 gauge steel and I plan on cutting out three circles which I've already marked. I just happened to have a cutting wheel that was worn down enough that it was just perfect for the candles to sit on. It was a little bit overhanging and since I plan on making some kind of press jig to kind of give these a little concave shape. Um, it kind of worked out perfectly. So I used that wheel. I marked out the three circles. I got my plasma cutter set up. We're going to go ahead and give these things a cut. I just flipped the grinding hood. Okay. So there's a little baby tack on that guy. You kind of get the idea, right? So this is going to sit down and the candle will sit on there like so. At least that's the idea. Some way, somehow, this is actually wax. These are electric, can well, battery-powered candles. And this is wax, which is nuts to think. So just like that. Okay. So the candles are in much better position now, um, height-wise, I feel wax all over a wooden table that I'm welding on. <laughs> uh, you know, what are you going to do? Trying to convince the wife to let me go buy a new welding table, but not quite there yet. 
would be pretty handy than one of those sort of flat welding tables that just one you put together yourself. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome welding tables. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my little torpedo level and check this thing and make sure it's level before I weld on it some more. I'm gonna put some match marks on this thing because the rotation is critical. Okay, so I really reshaped. Ugh, what do we got here? So this is what we're looking at so far. Whoop. One candle, two candles, three candles. Good. We'll check the bench for level, even though we already have, you know it's laid that way and good that way. And we'll check this for level. Bases. This side could come up. That way still. Now we're good that way. Okay, we are all sorts of catty wumps here. Okay, so yeah, nothing, nothing too bad. All right, so there's there's the idea. Three candle candle holder that goes inside of her little lighthouse thing. So I've got a little, what is this, uh, Rust Oleum Universal Advanced Formula Hammered Paint and Primer in One. So this is that hammered look, kind of same similar color to the outside of the decorative piece here. Got my box set up for a little spray paint action. We'll let that dry for a few minutes. It'll be ready to go back in the house. It goes inside the little lighthouse thing she's got here and we have the remote candles that go on it. So this thing goes in here and it kind of only goes in one way, but throw a couple candles on here. Candle holder all finished up and got some paint on there. We put the candles in it, got it up in place. Oh, my wife's pretty happy with it. I think it came up pretty well, also. Uh, like I said before, uh, happy wife, happy life, right? Um, really appreciate if you hit some of those uh, like and subscribe buttons. It always helps me out. 
maybe check out some of these other uh, links to uh, some of my brother's house build stuff, my garage build, and I'll probably just put down the uh, most recent video I've got going on also. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.